It's Tuesday, June 3rd, 2014. Good morning, I'm forecaster Mark Spencer from neoweather.com. A mix of sun and clouds for your morning and early afternoon. We're going to see a few showers or storms pop up later today. We'll take a look at the future cast and the severe weather possible for Wednesday. We have all the details on that and much more starting right now. Cloudy, humid morning to start across northern Ohio with temperatures generally in the low 70s across the area. We did have some rain move through last night. That's now pushing off into western Pennsylvania. Behind it, we're going to have a a humid air mass for much of the day, but a cold front, not a very strong one, but a cold front's going to come through later this afternoon and early this evening. That's going to lower the dew points. It could also spark off a few showers and storms. We'll take a look at future casts in just a moment. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Otherwise, right now, fairly quiet across a good portion of the country. Showers and storms already across the South Dakota and Nebraska. And that's really going to be a battleground there for some storms later, especially severe storms. You can see the uh, Storm Prediction Center is moderate risk out this morning all the way through much of uh, eastern Nebraska into parts of Iowa, northern Missouri, and uh, west central Illinois there as well. So that's going to be a battleground area later today. That'll start early, it looks like, too. Uh, quiet across the south, some showers and storms around uh, parts of the uh, uh, Gulf Shore there, and the east coast is pretty quiet, too. Across our area this morning, we are looking at uh, clouds breaking up. We're going to see gradually more sunshine here through the morning. You can see temperatures warm already uh, with uh, temperatures mainly in the low 70s, 70 at Cleveland, uh, 72 at Akron, Canton, we're at 69 at uh, both Ashtabula and Ravenna. Those are the cool spots this morning, if you will. Um, otherwise, 70, Mansfield, Worcester, Dover, New Philly, and Youngstown. 75, the warm spots at Lorraine and uh, Sandusky this morning. Dew points. Ooh, man, is it tropical out there. Mid to upper 60s. Look at Sandusky, 70. Oh, man, that's just oppressive. And they're going to remain high until this cold front comes through. It's still back here a little bit. You can see where the dew points go from the 60s down to the 50s. So it's still back here a little ways, and it's going to push through later this afternoon. We'll see that on a future cast in just a second. So this is a newer high-resolution model we have access to now, uh, and uh, we're looking at that rain that was moving out of the area this morning. A couple of the high-resolution models had a couple different ideas going on. I felt this one was probably the best compromise of all of them. And uh, let's go through the day here now. You're going to see that rain push off to the east. Uh, It's possible around lunchtime we could start seeing a few storms fire. I'm not extremely confident in this. Uh, This and one other model kind of showed this, but I'm not really sure if that's going to happen or not yet. It's possible. Remember, the atmosphere's got enough juice in it to to make that happen. So we'll keep an eye out for that, although I did leave storms at noon out of the forecast right now. As we get through the afternoon, here we are at 2 o'clock. We could start seeing some storms fire, I think, later this afternoon. That cold front gets closer. It'll be just enough lift to allow uh, for storms to develop. And a couple of these will be capable of producing heavy rain. There's a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. We could also see some gusty winds. A few of them could become strong, and of those few, one or two might reach severe levels. We'll keep a close eye on that. We're not expecting any organized severe weather, though. As we go through the afternoon, here we are by uh, 5 o'clock. You can see much of that's pushed out of our area as that cool front comes through, and that's going to be the case as we go through the night. We clear out with at least the rain, partly cloudy skies, maybe even clear in a few spots. And then as we get into tomorrow, Wednesday, we're going to be watching this mass of uh, storms here move to our area during the afternoon hours. Timing still a little suspect. Uh, I'm going with mid-afternoon on right now. Here we are at noon right here. You can see it's already working into our western portion of the area according to this model. Models vary with this just a little bit too. So uh, we got a few options of what could happen. Um, as we go through the afternoon, this pushes through. Now, some models want to keep the stronger storms and actually much of the activity pretty much south of us. 
um, mainly south of Route 30, we'll say right now. And you can see down here from Indianapolis to Cincy, Dayton, even down towards southeastern Ohio, very strong storms there. And as we go through the evening, you can see those storms really do take off um, later in the day. And I think that's where the best severe threat is going to be is generally central and southern Ohio. We'll detail that in just a moment. Our high yesterday was 81 degrees, the low 71. Our averages are 74 and 55. What's a humid day yesterday with that warm air too? The record high today, 91. Just a trace of rain for uh, yesterday and the month so far. Sunrise is at 5.55 a.m. and sunset is at 8.56 p.m. All right, now our pollen forecast. If you uh, woke up this morning and wonder why you kept sneezing or your nose was runny, Grass pollen's in the moderate category, and uh, that does it for a lot of people, especially me. My goodness, I was miserable this morning. Uh, tree pollen's still high, too, which uh, personally doesn't help me either. Uh, good news, if you're uh, sensitive to mold spores, they're pretty low, and they've been uh, getting even lower with each passing day. We're going to see tree pollen uh, kind of reduce and grass pollen kind of go up over the next uh, week or so. So, again, if you're sensitive to grass pollen, now is not your season, unfortunately. All right, our severe weather threat for tomorrow. Here's what we have right now, and I expect this to change a little bit. We have a low risk for severe weather across much of northern Ohio, generally along and north of U.S. Route 30. South of there, we have a medium risk. And again, as we saw in the future cast, it depends where things set up just a little bit. Things could vary a little bit. Basically, what's going to happen is the cold front that comes through today is going to pretty much retreat back north as a warm front. And how far north that front gets will be uh, kind of the telltale story of where things uh, really get active. I, again, I think central and southern Ohio really are the best threats for severe weather. That's where the best uh, dynamics are, too. Now, what we have to watch out for here, uh, if you're going to be traveling to uh, Columbus, Dayton, or Cincinnati over the next day or so, um, we got to watch that area as it could get pretty potent in there, especially if things fire to the west in Indiana. Um, we may actually have to introduce a high risk down here because I th think the better potential could be there for you know damaging winds. Uh, we could see some very organized weather move through large hail and the potential for tornadoes as well. Again, now that's all. Uh, really, we're going to see all of these threats. Uh, we do have a threat for damaging winds, large hail, and tornadoes. But as we'll see on a neo risk here, uh, those threats for us in northeastern Ohio aren't quite as high. I do have large hail as a medium risk. I do have damaging winds as a high risk. Damaging winds is really going to be the biggest threat for us. Large hail, sure, because it is so moist, the lofty, the moisture is there. And tornadoes, I have a medium risk right now, but that is for basically south of U.S. Route 30 at the moment, not for the Cleveland area or east of Cleveland or anywhere along the lakeshore, generally south of Canton. Flooding, of course, is also going to be a big risk too with all the moisture in the air. We do expect things to change a little bit uh, throughout the day today before this comes in, so make sure you stay right here at neoweather.com for the very latest forecast. Speaking of our forecast, our forecast for today, it's going to be a humid one out there. It's also going to be warm too as the skies clear out through the day. Our high 84 today. Winds will be out of the southwest 10 to 15 miles an hour. We're going to start off pretty warm, 67 to 70 degrees. So we're going to start off right around 7 a.m. Mostly cloudy, humid out there as we saw. We're up to 77 by 11 a.m. with a mix of sun and clouds. 83 by 2 p.m. A few storms possible to the east as that cold front starts coming through. We'll be around 83 by 5 o'clock. Uh, but storms mainly to the south and east of Cleveland. Akron and Canton, that's where you're going to see a little bit better storm threat. Again, it's spotty stuff, though. It's not going to be anything organized. Uh, 83 for Akron and Canton as well. Storms could start firing here right around 1, 2 o'clock and continue through uh, the rush home. We'll keep an eye on that. And of course, stay well on our uh, Facebook page and our Twitter feed for the very latest. If anything uh, significant does take off, we'll be posting in both places. Hey, Tribe Game, they've been doing good. Let's see if they can keep it up with the Red Sox here. They uh, first pitch is at uh, 7.05 tonight. I think this game's going to get in dry, too. Maybe mostly cloudy at the uh, start of the game. We could see a few less clouds, nothing wrong with that. And then we'll gradually clear out through the evening. You can see temperatures are going to fall as that cold front comes through. We start the game off in the middle 70s, and we're almost in the mid-60s by the end of the game. Winds go from the west to the northwest at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Still going to be a very nice day for a game. Overnight tonight now, storms uh, south early, mainly south of Canton. Those will go away. 
and then we'll clear out the night summers lows drop into the middle 50s the humidity will drop too winds will be out of the northwest at 5 to 10 miles an hour the next seven days clouds increase again on wednesday with afternoon and evening storms again some of those could be severe stay with neo weather for the latest our high on wednesday 77 could be a few spotty rain showers early on thursday generally before daybreak and then we're going to clear out for the day. It'll be cooler, 68 to 70 degrees on the high, uh, with the humidity lower as well. And then high pressure builds into the area. Boy, look at this. Very seasonable and comfortable. Mostly sunny for your Friday and 75. Uh, I think we're going to be wall-to-wall -wall sunshine on Saturday and 77. We're back up to 80 on Tuesday. Clouds will increase ahead of another uh, front coming through. We see some afternoon and evening storms. It'll be 80 on Sunday, but then we cool down some for Monday. We're around 72, 73 degrees when they're mostly sunny skies as high pressure works back into the area.